Bye, Ellie. I'm going to go to the thrift store, okay? And I'll see you when I come back. You going to stay here with Grace and Ryan? Okay, see you soon. Okay, I have about a little over two hours until I need to come back and pick up Ryan. He's going to play airsoft with his friends today. So I'm just going to head to a thrift world in Counts of Bluffs and take you guys with me and see what I can find. I have probably enough inventory to list for two more days, but that's about it. So I could use some inventory. So we'll see how the store treats me today. About getting these because they were plus size but I don't know I just didn't have a good feeling about them dollars for Maurice's jeans. I stopped filming, I found these, and they're priced at 10 and then I went a little further, and new with tags, also priced at 10 These were in the women's section, Lululemon Extra Large. These are men's shorts, I later found out. Those ones are $14.98. The other ones were $10, so I just grabbed them all because I was so excited to find Lululemon men's in that size. I was excited to find new lift tag Title IX, but not for $25.
I've seen this here for a couple of weeks, but it just has a lot of wash wear. I was trying to figure out what this brand was. It was kind of hard to see, but I don't think it ended up being anything good. I only got one bag at that store, but I think I showed in there the Lululemon that I found plus size and then the lady was putting out a new rack and she brought out two more. And so I like hurried up and snatched those. I feel like I should try to go back within the next day or two and see if they put any more out. So anyway, I'll do a haul when I get home and show you the stuff that I did get. Okay, I'm back home. I didn't film a ton in there. Kind of on a little time crunch and kind of just with people everywhere. About $145.97. I had a $5 off coupon. I actually have more saved up because you get points at these thrift worlds. But there was people behind me because I've had people do like separate transactions. So they'll ring up like one thing that's $10, take $5 off another transaction and like that. And then I can actually like use all my points at once. But I didn't really have time to do that today. So... I did find a couple of dresses that was like, I've really been wanting to find good dresses for spring, summer, maybe because everybody else is looking for them, but I have not been having good luck. But finally, at the end of the row, I found a couple of Torrid dresses. So this is a Torrid size 26. This was only $4.98 and it is a green sleeveless dress, maybe a little bit of fit and flare, but not too much. Um, it does have an exposed zipper on the back. This would be really good for like work career, business, maybe even wedding. So I'll probably use all of those keywords in my listings. Next is the brand Roar. So I have sold this multiple times in men's and women's. It does pretty well for me. It typically sells quickly. This is a size small. I probably will use like rodeo, festival, cowgirl, western with all of that. It has pearl snaps, big embellishment on the back. So with this brand, like the more embellished, the better. So we have that. I don't know if that one has a style name. Next is a Abercrombie & Fitch swim, size medium large. It's just a swimsuit cover up. So I thought this could be a good time to be listing this. It kind of has this cute like paisley print. It does have a separate armhole here and then it's just open with the fringe on the bottom. So that's cute. I kind of like it, but I don't know. I want to get a new swimsuit possibly before California. I don't even know if we're going to swim though. I know our hotel does not have a pool, but I think we're going to a beach one day. So maybe. Okay, next. Okay, here is one of, oh my gosh, I was so excited. Also, one of them was priced at $14.98 and one was $9.98, but I was so excited to find Lululemon in an XXL. I was like, okay, I have to get these. So the question is, are these men's or women's? Because they had them all in the women's section, but here's the logo. Um, you know, the men's style of short is like shorter right now. In that case, should I give them to my brother or just sell them? I don't know. I might just sell these ones. <laughs> Sorry, Bubba. I know I don't think he watches my channel. Um, there should be a size dot in here somewhere. I don't know. I will look these up and see, but they might, because for women's, you know, it's like the number sizing normally. Although I did find a pink jacket once that was in a like lettering size like this and it was women's, it was authentic. So this is the first pair. Um, this is an Adidas Stella McCartney tennis skirt. Where's the little 
logo. So I was really excited to find that. I haven't found that in a while. I feel like I'm getting the focus in the back there. Um, size medium. Here's what the interior tag looks like. So Adidas in the top. This is super cute. It has built-in shorts. It's like a little navy blue short tennis skirt. I thought about looking for some like skirts to wear this summer, but not this short. <laughs> that's a little too short. Ryan's selling one that's an athletic medium tall that's longer. I might try it on. Okay, next. Oh, this is just for Ryan. He's developing some sort of style that's not athletic clothes, so we are going to go with it. I found these Pilcro jeans, and they are newer because it says Anthropology right there, and they are a good style. They are size 26. The style is the, I saw it, Slim Boyfriend, so it says it right here. And then these jeans are really unique because they have all of these, like, rhinestone studding on the thigh there and just kind of like a straight leg they were half off so originally $9.98 I don't think I would have paid that but I was willing to pay five dollars so that's kind of the good thing about going in on Mondays if I have time because that's the day when their color switches so the things that were like that normally 10 bucks or half off okay Here's the new with tags, Revice jeans. I didn't even look up comps, so I guess I hope they're worth 10 bucks. Um, these ones are a size 25. Down here it says mixtape 2000s. I'm guessing that might be the style. Kind of like a fold over waist um, with this. I mean, is it supposed to be like that? I think so, because there's no button. It's just like a fold over waist with a button fly light wash a um, little bit of a rip like a couple right there so those are kind of cool i feel like i'll be excited to look up comps and see what they're going for and here are the other pair i'm like thank you for not knowing what these are and pricing american eagle the same price as these these are also size 25 i'm gonna guess it's the same person this one doesn't have the style. I mean, it doesn't have the tag. They look to be like a high-rise flare, small flare, or maybe boot. They do have a nice long inseam, so I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I can maybe look around on their website or something and see, but Revice, here's the back like patch. It kind of looks like a flag. Very cute. More jeans. These, again, were half off. These are AG... Adriana Goldschmied. It does say anthropology, so that, I don't know if that makes them more valuable. Um, they're the high-rise Stevie ankle, so with AG jeans, they always have the style printed right inside, so that makes it very easy. These are a size 27, and here they are. Nice medium wash, good condition. They do have this little, like, slit down here at the ankle. So I was excited to find those. Next we have the other dress that I found. It was Torrid 4X. I sell 4X and higher pretty quickly normally. This is a black short sleeve v-neck dress. It's very stretchy, really cute like full skirt. So just a simple black dress there. Um, more Lululemon. I wish I would have thought to like look it up in the store. I'm, it's probably men's. I'm going to assume it's men's. But they assumed it was women's, and that's where they were putting them. Like I said, I might go back because, like, literally it was, like, five minutes before I had to leave, and she was putting out two more. And I usually I try to, like, jet to the new rack right when it comes out, but she was getting stuff off there, so I try to be, like, courteous of the workers and not, like, totally just, like, get in her space. Um... So anyway, I saw like she took a few things off and then I was like, I'm going to look at the rest. So then I saw when she was walking away and I don't know, I just had a feeling. I'm like, those look like Lululemon. Like also where's the freaking size dot in these things? <laughs> I'm looking at these ones. Like I looked in both pockets and the, there's two interior pockets. Oh, here's another one. I'm like determined to find these and I can't find them anywhere. And I'm like, what is going on? Am I just dumb or what maybe they don't have a size dot but i think they would anyway that's a green pair here's the next pair 
Oh, see, these ones kind of look more womanish, right? That's not a word. <laughs> these ones look more like women's, in my opinion. But they could be men's. I don't know. Some guys are wearing some interesting things these days. I'll say that nicely. <laughs> um, same size, all XXL. Drawstring, pockets. Oh, I was so excited. Okay, and these are the other ones. I'm like, these look like women's. That's probably why they put them in women's. But I'm like, I guess a guy could wear these. Like, my husband would never wear these, but these ones do have, like, some wash wear. So I'll have to note that in the listing, but I didn't want to leave them behind. I feel like it's just such a great size, and I'd never find that. I got one swimsuit. This is Swim by Cacique. So this is a plus-size brand sold at Lane Bryant, I think. And this is a size 16. It is an orange with this high neck gold details. It's just the top, but it is pretty long. It's got ruched sides, so you could just wear whatever bottom underneath with it. Also, I kind of forgot to say, if you guys, there's the inside, um, see anything you like, message me on Instagram or my email. Instagram is the best way. And I can let you know what I will give you it for. Did that make sense? I'll let you know what I can sell it to you for. Okay, Catherine's one size, like kimono. This should do well. It probably will sell fast. I'm probably gonna use like Americana, 4th of July, summer, plus size, lightweight, sheer, all the keywords that I can. Anyway, you get the, get the point. I almost said get the hint and get the point at the same time. Um, I got these for myself, Baba's, because they're really nice. I don't have any crew socks. And I just have some like ankle socks, but these are expensive. So those are for me. This is for Grace's Easter basket. It came out on a new car. I saw the guy pushing it out. I'm like, oh my gosh. I knew it was Flounder. Disney Squishmallow Flounder. He's so cute and soft. He has a little mark back here. I might be able to get that off, but otherwise like she won't care. But I'm just like, oh, it's so cute. Okay. Let's keep going. Only a couple more things left. This is a pair of Jay McLaughlin pants. I have had good luck selling this brand recently. It's been selling pretty quickly. These are a size extra small, printed, high rise, pull on, very stretchy pants. So I haven't sold stretchy pants like these. I sold some that were just like an island tropical print really quickly. This is for Ryan. It's just a little Pokemon plush. I should have, I texted him about it and I was like, do you want it? I should have just saved it and put it in his Easter basket. Okay, last pair of Lululemon shorts. These are kind of a cool like green tie-dye pair with a drawstring and the logo is right down here. These ones feel like they're almost new, which is amazing. So excited to find all of those. And then the last thing I got was this Free People and I have never seen this tag. So let me know if you guys have, that's what it looks like. Free People size large. It's a really cute sweater. Gray with the like sheer like lacy floral on the top down the shoulders. It's very oversized. Um, super cute. I feel like I swear I saw this in a thrift store recently, but it was marked way up. But maybe I didn't. Anyway, guys, that's my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good week of sales and I'll see you guys again soon for my next video. Bye.